The face of the traditional luxury car is changing and nowhere is it more evident than on the subject of this edition of Test Drive. This is the all new Audi A7 Sportback. If you want to bring traffic to a standstill, park an Audi A7 in your driveway. The latest coupe sedan has perfect proportions and an eye-catching style that says sophisticated. I happened to like the look but had no idea just how much of a magnet it was going to be. It ended up parked in my buddy's garage to bring peace back to the neighborhood. Few cars south of Exotic have that sort of drawing power. Originally it was acetylene or oil, then we got the bulb, the sealed beam and of course the halogen headlight. Today, well most cars now use projector style headlights or if you go upscale, by xenon high intensity discharge headlamps. This Audi on the other hand, it has the next generation headlight. Now these things right here are actually LEDs. The advantage, aside from the fact that they're low maintenance, long life expectancy and they only draw about 40 watts of power, the key advantage is the color of the light. These things replicate daylight. So when you're honking down a country lane at a dark, dark night, it's almost as though you've got a little bit of sunshine lighting the way. Dynamically, the A7 is just as delightful as it arrives with an enviable ride handling balance. The sport suspension that's part of the S-Line package strikes a near ideal balance between ride comfort and the ability to limit body roll. Throw in the effects of the Quattro all-wheel drive system, the tester's upsize 265-35R20 tires and understeer, well, it's non-existent. Factor in the steering feel and a brake pedal that's easily modulated and you have a car that truly dances when it's pushed. The A7's cabin is the model of civility. Aside from the material quality and two of the best seats in the business, it's the gadgetry that's along for the ride that really impresses. Yes, you've got adaptive cruise control, you've got navigation system, you've got blind spot monitoring, there's also night vision. It has the ability to outsee those LED headlights. So if there's a pedestrian, cyclist or animal lurking in the shadows, it'll show up on the display. As an aside, it also works during the day. Not what it's meant for, but it does work. If you're following a car with an underinflated tire, the extra heat in that tire shows up in the night vision. Kind of neat. Audi's drive select system is along for the ride. It allows the driver to tailor the car to suit the tone of the drive. For me, the comfort mode proved to be redundant, such are the auto and dynamic modes. The auto mode is right for prowling suburbia. The dynamic mode comes into its own when the driver picks up the pace. There's also an individual mode that allows the driver to set the various facets individually. One of the surprises with this A7 hatchback is the fact that in spite of this really fast rear roof line, there is actually plenty of rear seat headroom and it's not a pain to get in and out. Now the one thing you do appreciate about the hatchback design, utility. Now this thing has about 19 cubic feet of cargo space with the seats in the upright position and 49 with them folded flat. It's also nicely squared off so you get to use all of that capacity. Now the one thing that disappointed me, and believe me, this did disappoint me, because of that very fast rear window, this car could do with a rear wash wiper. The A7 is powered by a 3-liter TFSI supercharged V6 that delivers 310 horsepower and 325 pound-feet of torque at 2900 RPM. The use of direct injection and force feeding the engine its fresh air spreads the power out over a very broad range. It sucks the A7 hustles to 100k in 5.4 seconds, which is more than respectable. A big part of the A7's willing work ethic boils down to the 8-speed manumatic transmission. The 8-speeds bracket a wide range and so there's plenty of snap off the line and comfortable highway cruising. Delightful. That sums up this car in a word. It's got utility, the interior is the model of sophistication, it's got those LED headlights, and of course it's got a very good blend of power and fuel efficiency. The bottom line, for my money, this is the new segment leader.